Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to uh, change the default gateway when using um, Windows built-in VPN. So, um, if you notice here, um, I have, let me click on this. So I have a VPN that I'm connected to right now. I just call it a VPN test. Um, what you want to do uh, is navigate to your control panel. <clears throat> and uh, go to it's networking. Networking sharing center. Um, and we're going to click on change adapter settings. So um, this will bring up all the, your current um, uh, network adapter settings that you have on your machine. We're going to select the uh, VPN test one, go to properties. If you right click on it, go to properties. And we're going to click on the, is it the networking tab? Okay, so for on the networking tab, um, one thing I like to do is uh, disable IPv6 so we can uncheck that the next thing is to click on uh, inter internet protocol version 4 go to properties and click on advanced so uh, this is pretty much uh, what we are going to uncheck but before I do I just want to kind of give you a brief walkthrough of it so right now that I'm connected to the VPN um, by default um, all my traffic is going to get uh, routed using the remote servers default gateway um, and so let's say um, I want to access a website or a uh, server or any uh, remote connection um, that is not on m this remote network uh, uh, local area uh, land um, so um, right now this is uh, this VPN that I'm connected to it's more tied towards uh, education related so for instance if I'm looking up uh, Khan Academy or Udemy um, or uh, uh, LinkedIn learning or something like that um, chances are uh, when I go to search for it or when I type in that URL uh, it's going to query the default gateway on uh, the remote network, find where Khan Academy and Udemy is located, and then uh, route me over there. Send, uh, go ahead and build up the web page, bring up the web page using that. However, uh, and that's all fine and dandy. However, um, that does uh, tend to take a little bit uh, longer. Uh, not a whole lot, but it can if you start uh, querying the numerous, if you start browsing the web, going num to numerous places and stuff like that. You're 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 having to hop over into the VLAN, into your VPN network in order to get um, to uh, for to pretty much manage your DNS. Um, now, uh, since this is more education related, if I'm looking for um, I don't know. Let's say I want to listen to um, the Rolling Stones, and I want to go check out uh, some blogs related to Rolling Stones. That may not be uh, typically education related. It might be just something more on the, on the personal side of things. So um, chances are, depending on wh how your that remote VPN server is configured it may not allow people to get access to uh, the Rolling Stones web, uh, blogs and so forth like that just because it's not uh, part of the scope uh, industry that it's tied to. Uh, so when you try accessing the Rolling Stones blog you may get access denied, it may time out, the web page may not uh, come up, blah blah blah, numerous things can happen. So by unchecking this what you're basically doing um, is now you're telling the VPN, hey, um, I want you to 
look up on my default gateway first and just to show you what our default gateway is if I you can type in you can open up the command prompt on your machine type in IP config and we'll just do normal IP config. so right now my default gateway is 10.0.0.1 this is uh, what I am locally right so um, I wonder if I can do it this way alright so this is what I am locally now um, so what's gonna happen is that um, I'll move this down a bit so what's gonna happen is now that I have unchecked that um, whenever um, I query for the the internet for a URL or for a uh, a remote uh, server or anything like that, it doesn't even have to be remote for any server related. Uh, my machine is going to first query my local DNS. It's gonna look. It's gonna talk to my default gateway and see. Okay. Um, taking the example for uh, Rolling Stones block it's gonna say hey is there anything on this gate on this network here uh, 10.0.0.1 that's related to the Rolling Stones block and if it doesn't find it then it'll hop out over into the uh, into your WAN um, into the the internet and then uh, uh, look up the Rolling Stones there that way um, so uh, lost my train of thought there but yeah so uh, using uh, your local default gateway is going to be faster because it's local it's uh, it's it's your own network and also um, you're not going to have to rely on a remote uh, VP, uh, default gateway to either block or uh, prevent you accessing um, um, things that you're trying to access also uh, another big uh, another uh, positive to this is that let's say you have local servers or a, a local NAS uh, on your network um, and let's say that that local NAS or that local network um, shares the same IP um, structure as the the VPN that you're connected to so let's, for instance, just say the VPN you're connected to, their IP address scheme is also 10.0.0. whatever, and then your local network is 10.0.0. whatever. Well, let's say 10.0.0.21 uh, points to a uh, a NAS uh, in your environment, right? Well, if you had this checked. And you try to access your 10.0.0.21. Um, your machine's actually going to try to uh, resolve that address using the remote network uh, connections uh, default gateway. And depending on what that 10.0.0.21 may resolve on their end, it may be a printer. You know, so instead of accessing your NAS, now you're accessing a printer. Whereas if you have this unchecked. Uh, and you try to access 10.0.0.21 which you know is a NAS then what happens is your machine is going to first uh, talk to your local area network and say hey is there a 10.0.0.21 on this network and it's going to say yes there is and it's uh, a NAS uh, a network attack storage and it's going to say oh, okay so that's probably what he wants so it's going to resolve that now if it doesn't find anything on 10.0.0.21 on your local network that's when it'll use it'll query the the VPN default gateway and um, and resolve it that way so uh, this is almost like um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, split tunneling um, where uh, some traffic uh, traffic that's necessary to uh, to resolve on the remote uh, VPN can resolve and then traffic that's not on the remote VPN um, will just resolve through your own uh, uh, through your own network connection so I'll uh, go ahead and leave that on uh, go ahead and leave that unchecked hit OK hit OK and hit OK um, and so what we'll have to do is in order for these change to take effect is we'll need to uh, disconnect 
from the VPN and then reconnect back to it and then um, we will then be using by default we will then be using our local default gateway um, before our uh, the remote uh, VPN servers default gateway so hope I didn't confuse you guys uh, too much um, if you have any questions or comments concerns feel free to leave them down in the chat below and I'll catch you guys in the next video take care bye